Hey guys, welcome to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. Today I wanted to talk about software developer beginner projects. A beginner project can greatly increase your chance of landing your first developer job if done correctly. Typically new people to the profession, such as coding bootcamp graduates, will have two or three coding projects on their resume. If you choose to have more than two, at least one or two should be a substantial size, the rest can be smaller. So there's a ton of different things you can build, from a face recognition app to a game. So how do you choose the right topic? You want to achieve two things with your personal projects. One, increase the chance of you landing your first job. And two, learn more about technologies that you will use at your first job, which you don't have yet. So before actually deciding on what project you want to build, take a step back and identify the job that you're targeting. By knowing which job you're aiming for, you'll have a better idea of which projects will actually help you get that job. For example, if you're aiming to become a front-end developer, you can build a project that has a very simple back-end, maybe even no back-end at all. You will want to put the majority of your effort into things that are important for a front-end developer to be able to do. Your project will probably focus on having a beautiful UI. It should be fully responsive, so it'll look good on all devices. You will probably want to build it in a modern front-end framework, such as React. And if you choose to use React, you could have your second project built using React Native. You could even take it a step further and use Redux in both of your projects. This will set you apart even further from the rest of the applicants, the rest of the competition, with their generic portfolios and their generic projects. A company looking for a front-end developer that uses the React stack is going to be very happy to see that you have knowledge with React, Redux, and React Native. On the other hand, if you want to land a back-end development job, your projects shouldn't be focused on a beautiful UI at all. You will want to focus on other things like proper API design, efficient use of data structures and algorithms, using a popular backend framework like Django, adding Swagger documentation, a readme, and a Docker file. If you are interested in a specific industry, there may be tools and libraries that actually help set you apart as well. For example, if you're interested in retail, retail companies often have big data. And big data is often accompanied by big data tools such as Kafka, Camel, and Spark. An example of such a project could be a backend server built in Django, which fetches stock data from a public API, transforms it, aggregates it using Spark, and then sends it back to a user via email. The main idea here is to show the hiring manager that you've worked with similar technologies, solved similar problems, and built similar features. Another valuable tip is do your personal project with at least one other person, if possible. You can do them alone as well, but if you do them on a team, you can show the hiring manager that you're able to work on a team. Use something like GitHub or Bitbucket and make sure to create pull requests and comment on them. This will make your communication skills and teamwork skills transparent to the hiring manager. Those are my tips for how you should choose your personal projects. I hope this gives you a better idea of how to approach it. And I'm going to wrap it up here and I'll see you next time.